My name's Cliff, I'm a camera operator, director of photography. And I was doing a shoot a little while ago and I called up these guys called Cine Gears and I asked them, I said, hey, I need to have somebody to focus for themselves on a gimbal. So they sent me this guy. It's called an espresso. It's a little focus unit and here's the knob. It goes to a motor and of course right away I said to myself, is this gonna be one of those units that I gotta do in press 100 buttons, I got to learn 100 menus, and that's the problem with me. I don't want to learn the menus, I don't want to go through books, I don't have time to go on the internet because we're shooting quickly. So the guys showed me how to set this up and it's very easy, which I was very impressed with. I was able to send my fourth operator on a feature out to do some movie pickup shots of just some crowds and independent things, focusing himself, which really works out well. So we have focus unit called espresso a motor and the great thing about this motor is it's the motor driver box the receiver is in it so then I'm gonna save room on my camera and it's gonna be quicker to set up which is awesome so I take my motor I plug my motor in right here great I'm gonna take my D tap plug it into the battery so I plug that into the battery right there and now Hit that button, turn it on. There yeah, great. To pair this, I press this for three seconds. One, two, three. It turns green. And I have a limited time, so I want to press all three of these buttons for three seconds. One, two, three. Now, it's synchronized. And that was easy. I did that in minutes, seconds, what? And now I'm working. It also is nice and slow nice and fast. Now what we did was we threw this on a gimbal and you're gonna watch some gimbal footage where we had or gimbal operator running around on a job doing some stuff. Now the world of gimbal stabilization which I have one uh, myself this is what it's made for. The operator can put this on a gimbal with a phenomenal clamp they have. He can roll his thumb as he operates and then on set we had a problem where hey how do you take this and give it to somebody who's a focus puller they want a bigger knob so what we did was grab this out of the box and it was really phenomenal my focus puller jumped in was able to focus my movie operator or gimbal operator or ronin operator or brushless gimbal operator he was able to focus him with him watching the monitor so he'd watch the monitor and he was able to focus. Went about 30, 40 feet. It was great. We were able to do a shot. We had a guy running, chasing a guy with a gun on a 35 mil at T18. And this could do the job just fine. So this is Mark Miller and Mark and I work together a lot. And the great thing is we're always trying to figure out how to make things faster and better. And what Mark has done here is he has two different setups. One is a, is a rocker. And the rocker is awesome because when Mark is on his zoom, he can change the positions. So he could be tight or wider really quickly. And then he has his own focus. So then when Mark, show us what you do, Mark. This is great. Mark's a pro at this. Let's give you a little uh, demo. So by having espresso on the, on the frame, it makes it really easy for me to get at the focus. And so this is what I do. So I'm operating. I'm able to get some nice focus. So I can come up to an object. A little depth of field, come off. Nice. So I'm very happy. So Mark has full control of the focus. Now, if I want to step in here and, and want to say, hey, Mark, I, you're going to transmit to me. I'm going to have a monitor. I'm going to be ready. So I would just come up to Mark, and I would come up with another unit. And I would just hold the button down here for three seconds. One, two, three. It's blue, and it turns to green. When it is green, I do this three buttons. One, two, three. One, two, three seconds. And now I am paired to Mark, so I am focusing Mark. So then I can actually help Mark walk behind him in focus. I can have a monitor with a transmitter to focus. And I found this, this is what I like. This is fast, it's easy, it's simple. And my, my, my world is fast. I have directors behind me, not with a gun to my head, but sometimes it feels like it, which uh, we, we're there to help them. They want to shoot fast. We're losing light to change over from one focus unit and now I focus for Mark and Mark has to go on his own. I said, okay, Mark, let's now you go and do your stuff. So Mark's going to go focus on his own. I hold the button down for three seconds. One, two, three, from blue to green. It's green. Mark holds these three buttons here down for three seconds. There we go. 
And now Mark's focusing. So we want to focus one control unit to two motors. It's great for 3D. We hold the little blue button down. Three seconds. One, two, three. They go green. We hold all three of these buttons down for three seconds. One, two, three. So now, this is awesome. I have one controller turning two motors. So this is awesome for 3D. It's awesome, awesome if you have two cameras with similar focus marks and you have one focus puller. But look at that for fast. This thing is speed, saves time, and it's affordable. It's great to have, I have it in my kit with three other focus units. Cheers.